Good evening. The family of a teenager who was a resident at St Christopher School in Bristol say their life has been torn apart since it closed last week following allegations of child cruelty offences. Jacob Cole has autism and severe epilepsy and lived at the residential part of the school for more than a year but has now moved home. His parents say the support they've received has been laughable and they're having to look at another care home 80 miles away. Sangeeta Lal reports. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I know, do some good waiting, aren't you? Yeah. What do you think you've got coming, Jacob? One parent watching Jacob, the other preparing his food. Oh, there, there. I know, yeah, that's a good boy. The new routine the Coles family have had to adapt to since Jacob came home. Hmm. Jacob has autism and is severely epileptic, and for the past year, he's been a full-time resident at St Christopher's School. But following a police investigation, Ofsted issued the residential side of the school with a suspension notice, and all the children and young adults living there were forced to leave. And literally, I come home from work and my wife popped in with a load of black bin liners and Jacob and said, he's home. You know, you just drop everything. And so I think for the last week, we just focus continually on Jacob and what his needs are, and we haven't really done anything else. Oh, get in there. I know, where's your DVD, Jacob? My wife is finding it very, very difficult to deal with. Um, she is very emotional over it. She thinks awfully life is, you know, all changing again. Avon and Somerset's police say they're investigating allegations of child cruelty offences. Ofsted say they issued the suspension notice because of serious concerns about safeguarding. But James criticises Ofsted's decision. Ofsted have just pulled the plug, have your child home and find a placement within hours. I mean, what, what were they thinking? What's going to happen? And, and, and just kind of expect to, to pick up the pieces is unbelievable. Since the closure, South Gloucestershire Council say they've stepped in to try and find appropriate alternative placements. But James says this hasn't happened yet for Jacob. Can watch this video? Yeah. You put your favourite one on, can't we? Put your banker on. Or Postman Pat. One's 196 miles away. It's a three hour journey and it's only a home, or sorry, it's only a school. There's no home attached to it. And it's like, really, have they even looked at, you know, looked at this in detail? So that, so that was kind of a bit laughable, to be honest with you. Um, but I think the most disappointing thing, I think, is we aren't identifying anywhere near where we live. James says the closest option for Jacob at the moment is a home that's 80 miles away, a prospect he's struggling to cope with. He doesn't understand what I'm doing. He doesn't understand. Um, when he went residential, I was really, really worried that he would forget who I was and my wife. And I think if he moves further afield, that's the fear that I've got again, you know, because we just won't be able to pop in there for tea. I want Daddy to help. Well, Sangeeta joins us for more on this now. And Sangeeta, really uncertain time for Jacob and his family. Yes, I've spoken to many families affected by the closure who've told me just how much disruption can cause anxiety in children and young adults with complex needs like Jacob. Um, whilst Jacob's family are calling for more support, South Gloucestershire Council have come back to us today. It says it's assisting families by funding nurses. And actually, while we were filming with Jacob's family, his nurse was there supporting them. The focus now is on finding Jacob the appropriate care. And sadly, the complex care that St Christopher's offered just isn't widely available in the local area, meaning many families are having to look outside of our county to find suitable care. And we heard that Jacob's family quite critical of the decision made by Ofsted. What have they had to say today? Well, Ofsted today say the home has a long history of underperformance and had been issued with several requirements that it needed to meet in order to improve. It says we understand the distress caused to families, but it is important that we take swift action when we have concerns about children's safety. This is just a, uh, an extremely difficult situation for everyone involved. OK, thank you for now. Thanks very much.